Hey guys, hey everyone. I hope you guys are well and that you guys are having productive weeks and productive days. My name is Debo Khomabuza and I go by Dirt with Debu and what Dirt with Debu is, it's a platform where I share everything, interior styling and deco, DIY and flipping pieces. Hey, <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for coming back. If you are a first time subscriber, Thank you for coming and I hope you stay and I hope you subscribe and I hope I get to welcome you to the family. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, guys, anything, pop it in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And yeah, guys, let's start with today's video. So how I start my videos is I say two to three, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three things that I'm grateful for and um today i want to do it a bit differently i want to do an affirmation so why let me rewind a bit i had recently recreated my vision board for the year and i i recreated it because i wanted it to be a bit more practical you know because it's, it's something that i see every day i wanted it to be something that i use every day so I recently added affirmations to it and I say them every morning out loud, sometimes every night before I go to bed. So yeah, so I wanted us to start with affirmations and the affirmation that's coming to mind now, and it's not by chance or coincidence, but it says, I feel safe. You know, so that's the affirma that's my affirmation for today is that I feel safe and every time I feel a bit weird, I have to say that out so that I remind myself and I affirm myself that it's fine, like you're safe, it's okay, you know, it's a really, really fine. Because guys, life can get really wild and you feel a bit shaken, but if you if you remind yourself that you are fine and that you feel safe then I, I it works for me i don't know if it's gonna work for you you guys can try it you guys can tell me what your favorite affirmations are in the comment section and um i also want to say something that i'm grateful for i am definitely grateful for good health you know i think sometimes we take it for granted but i am so grateful to be able to wake up every morning and not have an ache or a pain somewhere or a sore throat or a runny nose because wow the pits darling so i am so grateful that i'm healthy and i'm good and i'm here so let's get into today's video so guys the projects that we'll be working on today is just a few items in the house it's i don't want to call it projects necessarily because project sounds like a big thing but it's really small items that i've always wanted to do um that didn't really affect anything but because i've got time to do it and an opportunity to do it i'll definitely go for it the first and the big one is the mirror so this is a mirror that we got from china city um beginning of 2020 i think we've had it for a very long time and we use it like randomly in the in the living room because we don't have a long mirror in the house right i wanted one for my bedroom but i didn't like the color so i don't want a black mirror in my bedroom so we keep it here because we've got a few black items so it sort of makes sense for the space so what i'm going to be doing with it is i'm going to be painting the sides with either like um that savannah pinkish paint that i have or i'm going to be using the um, the brownish fawn beige paint color so i still need to decide which paint color i'm gonna go for but i'm just gonna paint the side and i'm gonna leave this inside black here because i mean a, a, a few pieces in the house in the space rather are black so i don't want to totally neglect the color but i don't want it to be a big feature in the house because it's it's really not the aesthetic that i'm going for so that's number one number two is to paint this absolute vodka bottle in this color here so i got this from builders warehouse and it, it doesn't seem like it makes sense for the space at the moment but i'm working on a project where i want to like change the hues and the colors and like the aesthetic of the space so that it, it's it's more like winter um, um autumn sort of so using more oranges and rusts 
and um, terracotta. There's a color called terracotta and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So using those sort of colors, you know, like your navies and yeah, but that's coming soon. So this is my first testing the vibe out with this vase here. And then the third and the last thing that we're doing is we're going to paint this table here, not paint it. We're going to cover it with contact paper. So I got this contact paper from Builders Warehouse. It's marble and it's one meter. I think, I, I know, I don't think. It was 38 Rand. And yeah, I don't need more than one meter for this. So I'm going to stick it onto this here. And yeah, it's just starting, it's just started looking a bit ratchet, guys. I mean, probably with like a good clean, these marks could all go off. But... I don't want to have to clean it, so I'm going to cover it. I mean, this is a burn. It's like weird things. It's an old tin, not old. We got it in 2019 when we moved in from Decophone. At the time, it was 270, I think. I think now they go for about 400 Rand. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we got two of these. It was really an amazing deal. And in my head, I wanted both of them on the side of the TV stand. But as time went on, I wanted a big plant on the side of the TV stand. So this one is like, my husband uses this one to eat, literally, because I don't have trays. Why don't I have trays? Anyway, whatever. So yeah, guys, those are the three projects that we're doing for today. And let's get started. Guys, before you start working on any surface, make sure that it's clean and it doesn't have any dust. So I removed any dirt and dust using a surface cleaner. And then I covered the parts that I didn't want painted with masking tape. After a lengthy struggle with the masking tape because it didn't want to stick, I resorted to something else. I used sellotape. Please don't try this at home. Sellotape is too thin and paint is definitely going to run over. But I was desperate and I really like the fact that it actually stuck versus the masking tape. So I'm saying this again, I need to get better quality masking tape. But after covering the insides with sellotape, I went in with the paint. I used the very light blush pink and I went in with my first coat. And after this, I elevated the mirror a bit to go in with the second coat. And this is how the mirror looks with the second coat done. I then put it outside for like an hour or so so it could dry. And that's that. For the side table, like always, please make sure that the surface is clean. So I started off by cleaning it. This is everything that I used, cleaned off the surface, and then I tried to measure the circle on the contact paper, which was a bit tricky, but after struggles, we managed.
the whole reason I used this device is so that it could cut it out um, at my first go but that did not happen I had to go in with a scissor which defeated the purpose but we learn After cutting out the contact paper, I cut off a few loose ends and then I began to stick it onto the surface. I really liked how it easily comes off when I realized I hadn't stuck it properly which is everything but after hectic concentration I managed to get it exactly around the table and now I'm just making sure that it's properly onto the table and stuck on And there you have it guys, a marble side table. Like always guys, we always make sure that we work with a clean surface. I wanted the vase to be two-toned, so I started off by cleaning it up and then using masking tape. I know, I never learn. But this time I knew it wouldn't go over. I would do a neater job. And what I'm trying to do here is make sure that the line is straight, which I don't get at the first go, but I tried again and it happened. I then went in and started painting using the soft bristle paintbrush. I also spilled paint, that is not surprising, but we kept moving and yeah guys. In the beginning I mentioned how we got two of these tables and I love how I can use both of them so you can literally see a before and after. it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the content and you enjoyed doing it with me if you happen to do it as well please tag me on social media show me how you do it and let's let's learn from each other guys that's the whole point of this platform to learn from each other's journeys um and you guys were done we did a whole mirror we well we didn't do a mirror we painted a mirror we revamped a side table and we painted a vase in terms of the learning so for the mirror i definitely need better quality masking tape for the side table it's better if i first stencil out the shape and then cut it and then stick it it really is going to be quicker 
and neater and then for the vase there really isn't much except the fact that i need to concentrate because i spilled paint on the floor so like imagine if i was working on like a carpet or a rug but you know what the learning actually is? Is that I need to like put cardboard or newspaper or refuse bag when I'm working actually. So that if there are spills and drips and stuff, it spills on that as opposed to my floor. So that's a nice learning. And just going back to the vase guys, I really, really love how the color turned out. Remember I said I was testing out this um hue in the space and i really love how it turned out guys i can't wait to have a couple more items that are of this color scheme remember i'm going for like terracottas and this is actually a shade of terracotta i keep pointing to there because i've put it there i'm so sorry if it's weird but it's there so um yeah guys like terracottas and rusts and browns and i can't wait and yes guys if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back if you are a first time viewer and you sort of like what you see and we're vibing please like please comment please subscribe guys let's engage and i'll see you guys all next week thank you so much